A new policy in the Mecklenburg County District Attorney's Office has the Fraternal Order of Police infuriated. For the first time ever, district attorneys say they will not prosecute low-level drug crimes, but not everyone believes this is a good move for our community. Fox 46 Chief Legal Correspondent Seema Iyer is live in the newsroom tonight with both sides of this argument. Seema. That's right. Now, District Attorney Merriweather says these changes are set to go into effect in February, but they are narrowly tailored to meet these challenges times, whereas the FOP says it's in direct violation of the police officer's oath. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Fraternal Order of Police is accusing the district attorney of setting a double standard with its decision not to prosecute low-level drug offenses. The DA implemented this policy back in November. So why is the FOP only speaking out today? Because they've been kept out of the loop. They've been talking about this for the last couple months. Maybe command staff has been talking about it, but officers haven't heard about it until all this information came out. The spokesperson for the FOP says they didn't know about this policy back in November. I'm going to tell you no. I haven't been informed of anything. And CMPD sent an email just two days ago to inform officers of the DA's policy. This is just one of the many emails that we've sent to our officers on the line. Our agency values communication internally and will continue to do that. District Attorney Spencer Merriweather says CMPD knew of the policy from the beginning. There wasn't a single chief who didn't understand exactly why it is that I was implementing the kind of policy. And wasn't looking for their approval. I don't ask them for agreement on arrest. But did he bear a responsibility to communicate with the FOP? No. No. So, should officers arrest low-level drug crimes or not? If you're telling us that you're not going to prosecute them, what's the point? So what is the point? D.A. Merriweather did add that low-level drug offenses with a demonstrated nexus to violence is an exception. Lindsay? And Seema, you were a prosecutor and a police union lawyer. Can you explain this confusion and communication between the agencies? Linz, I like to call this the dysfunctional love triangle, and that is because the Fraternal Order of Police is a nonprofit. The police department here isn't unionized, so nobody seems to communicate with each other. And the DA basically said, listen, I don't need their permission. So that's kind of, I guess, where the confusion might come in a little bit. And from your experience, is there a connection between low-level drug cases and violent crimes? There can be. It's really important that low-level drug offenses are pursued because either you can get an informant, you can get a confidential uh, source, or you could be led to information on homicides or other violent crimes. So it is a very touchy subject to just not even arrest people accused of low-level offenses. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, I'm sure this is a story we will be following up on shortly. Seema, thanks.